Okay, so this is um, April 16th, 2020, and this is a 15 minute reading for Ivanka. And so I am calling in my guides and angels to be with me right now to have uh, clarity and to give the most <sighs> uplifting and positive information for Ivanka's highest good and expansion of consciousness. And I'm asking her guides and angels to be here with me as well to give me clarity and what she needs to hear today for her highest good. So I'm going to just throw some cards to see what comes up initially because I don't have any specific questions other than general life questions, I believe. Um, what does Ivanka need to know today that will help her on her path to enlightenment? Also, I wanna say, Ivanka, that um, humanity as a whole is going through a real expansion of consciousness so if you're starting to feel this by all means keep it, keep it going it's not like you're because you can feel dizzy you can be lightheaded you can have all sorts of crazy feelings right now and it's part of this transformation we're heading into this really positive and high vibration time for humanity so keep that in mind um okay let me see what is it going to need to hear today Alrighty. Oops, one more wants to come out apparently. So it looks like these are in this position. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, interesting. All right. Um, okay, this is what this looks like. Here's Here's you. This is you coming into your spirituality right now, which we just spoke about. And this is your work. This is where you're putting your energy. And I believe that a lot of um, your energy coming up might be put into your spirituality as well. So I feel like you'll start, I, I, I feel like you'll still be working. It looks like you'll be working remotely, but um, that you're, work on your spiritual self will start to increase. That's what these cards are saying. And then this is, um, hold on. Okay, this looks like a man. Okay, this is a man that's got his uh, life and act together. And it looks like, it appears like this man is coming in. He's got a very powerful energy. Either he has, uh, you know what? I don't know that he's come in yet, or if he has, it was just recently because it's, but it's a very strong energy, okay? And this is a young man. This is the King of Disc, and this is the Prince of Wands. Okay, this is a very either young man or um, child that somehow energetically is coming with this, this man. Either that means that um, the man will have a child, or he and you would have a child. Okay, and then this is the emperor, which is symbolic of solid strength, you know, foundation, feeling solid, feeling taken care of, feeling completely at ease in terms of your stability. Okay, so, oh, oh and here he is. Okay, so this just flew out. So this means, this is a card that I always interpret as somebody's coming and they're not coming a long time they're coming soon so this to me is probably more validation that you might see this relationship coming up soon now I don't actually know where you are so I don't know what your quarantine situation is you know we obviously are in a worldwide pandemic so I'm assuming your movements are somewhat restricted at this point oh okay they're showing me that he's right on the other side of this so as we come out of this which we will this wave is going to start to pass it's already kind of we're literally underneath the wave at this sort of peak and it's going to start to come down. Um, but once we get on the other side of that, it looks like this person, this man, um, potential relationship will be really imminent, let's just say. Um, okay, so I'm getting the feeling that it seems like I've said that and it's been a long time coming. I don't remember what I tell people in readings in the past, so I, I don't know, but I'm assuming that you've been waiting. It looks like you've been waiting. And sometimes, you know, uh, things, well, let us put it this way. I know I've told you in the past, because I tell all my clients that we, you know, 
we are the manifestors of our own lives, but we can't control other people. We have free will. So things can change. And, and case in point, we got stopped with the pandemic, right? Who knew that was going to come at the moment that it did? Maybe it was building, whatever. But it has changed the course of events of our immediate future because of it. We are all being put on lockdown. We all have to look at things differently now. But we're coming into a very, very positive golden age. And this man, oh, he's got a very golden aura. I don't know if I told you that before, but he really does. So, um, and it, okay, it looks like there's children. I think it looks like there's a new baby or a new child that would come with this person. And it looks like there's already children in the picture but it looks like a family unit that would really come together beautifully regardless of that. So let me just uh, throw some more cards to see what they want to address in terms of your life in general. Again, what else does she need to hear? Because they obviously wanted to make it clear that you're on a spiritual journey and you're coming, you're going to be coming to a profound relationship once we get past this whole thing, which is imminent. Ooh. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> okay. These are your different, this is, these are the different, your different characters, so to speak. Okay. Your true essence is this. This is um, the high priestess and this is you. Okay. But you've also felt like that you have been dealing with a nightmare. One troublesome, difficult thing after another. And this woman has had just, uh, you know, it's like the ground's crumbling underneath her and there's volcanoes underneath. It's like, oh, uh, but you, she has managed to keep it together. Sometimes by the skin of her teeth, but has managed to keep it together. And this is, which is interesting. I don't usually get three female cards in a row. And if I do, it's showing me that it's, these are your as your different aspects. This is you coming into your abundance. This is you coming into your, um, they're saying financial wealth. So I, I feel like you're gonna start to see money coming in. It, it looks like money's gonna start coming in through working remotely and or working on some project that is a remote project, which is pretty straightforward since we're all kind of working remotely at this point. But um, this is you coming into your solid foundation, right? So all these are aspects of you and they're all very positive and strong. And then the last card I have here is the lovers. See, so it's like once you really embrace and uh, sort of acknowledge your true power, your high priestess, you know, you're being able to withstand all sorts of trauma, and then your solid, financially stable self that knows you've got this because it looks like you've had to take care of things for a while on your own and you're, you know, really adept now at navigating this sea of tr trials that you've had to navigate. And um, it looks like you're coming out of it though. It looks like you're feeling finally like you can breathe again. And so it looks like though that this is on the other side of this sort of thing that we're dealing with. Okay, let's look at some more immediate because they're showing me a lot about what's going to happen on the other side of this thing, but I suppose we still have, depending on where you are, we still have like a uh, few weeks of hunkering down, maybe more, right? So <clears throat> I'm asking spirit, what about more immediate? Um, Anything that's immediate in this time of quarantine that you need to know. Hold on. What does she need to know right now? Oh, how funny. Ah, okay. Weird. Okay, now, I got this card again. This means, like I said a minute ago, that this always, whenever I get this card, I always interpret it the same that somebody's coming. 
So they just want you to know again that this person is going to make himself known to you pretty quickly after we get through this thing. But we know that. Now, what I was asking about was this next little while where we're trying to work through this, you know, lockdown or whatever, this pandemic. And there's a lot of emotion. I feel like there's a lot of emotion. Oh, they're saying fear of the unknown. Okay, so don't get, don't allow yourself to fall into that. There's no reason to. As a matter of fact, the, there's a very important and strong reason to do the opposite, which is to stay positive. And so your emotions go out into the world to manifest. That's one of the big deals of manifesting. What you want is that your emotions really do amplify manifesting. But the problem is if you're having low vibrational emotions, you're going to manifest like not good stuff. Really important to have your emotions be positive, positive, happy, 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 up, optimistic, blah, 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 because then you can manifest what you need, which the next two cards are a new financial beginning and solid stability starting and real strength. So this is the companion card to, I think you got the emperor before, yeah, the emperor before, which is a solid, solid, you know, I think it was the very beginning. It was like, that was the middle bottom card that was indicative of a really solid foundation in life in all aspects. Well, this is the feminine version of that, which means to me that this is where you are going to get, where you are going to be is in a very solid foundation in life. And the trick though is to keep your emotions positive, okay? Keep your emotions positive and nurture yourself and, um, oh, I'm assuming you do have children because they're showing me your children. Okay. They're showing me your children can have a little bit of anxiety about what's going on. They don't seem to understand it completely, but they're showing me them clinging to you. Okay. Um, and I guess what they're doing and it seems is that they suck off not suck off but they feed for lack of a better word on your energy and so your energy when i'm looking psychically right now feels pretty solid and strong it doesn't feel fearful okay it's really important to stay in that because your children are taking your energy and basically digesting it as their own they want to feel you feel strong so that they can feel less anxiety because i feel like they're they just don't know what's happening. And so it's hard for them to understand. Anyway, um, be strong for them. And maybe that's partly why we got a lot of about strength and about solid foundation and stability. Your, your children are looking to you for that. Okay. And so it's real important. It's real important on a lot of levels to keep that going, keep that positive, solid faith, having faith you know, is really important right now. It's not just important for your kids, it's important for you and it's important for everybody to be in that way. Okay, so let me see. Um, we're at about almost 14 minutes, so I'm gonna see what comes up, if there's anything else. Okay. I don't know if you're near the water or um, would consider going near the water because they keep showing me you and this new person near the water or either being able to see the water. It's not like you're right at the beach, but you're able to see the water from a distance. Now, I don't know where you are, but um, that's going to be something that brings you and your family a lot of um, peace, so to speak, or feels makes you feel good. So if somehow that that's a possibility of manifesting later once you move forward through this thing and then in, into this new sort of life. Okay, they're showing me that your life after this thing is going to turn around because they're showing me this golden triangle which is very symbolic for the Trinity and for, um, oh, and there's a couple of angels that are showing me, showing up too, and they're wanting you to know that you, okay, well, whatever they're doing, they're handing me this triangle, this golden triangle, which is representative of Trinity, I believe, which is mind, body, spirit. Okay. So you're coming to a golden space for your mind, body, and spirit. 
and your heart, your heart chakra is going to be really opened up. So, oh, and your third eye. So you're coming into a real expansion of consciousness period as well. Did I say that at the beginning? Okay. Well, in any event, that's what they're showing me again. Let me just do a couple more cards to so see what comes up. Okay, there you are. Okay, so this is what there makes sense to me now. You are this magical being, this goddess, okay, and you have a lot of power, a lot. Um, basically, you have the ability to manifest anything you want, um, and they're showing me you wielding this energetic sword, so to, so to speak. And maybe in a past life or past lives, you were some sort of, you know, real like superhero type woman, <sighs> high priestess. Um, but so this is, you have this magic. This is a magician. You have that ability already, but you second guess yourself. This is you worrying about things and thinking, oh my God, how am I going to figure this out? But see, you know... Because this woman, the Queen of Cups, is so advanced. She knows everything. She knows, she's the most psychic woman in the whole deck. She knows, she is at peace as well because she knows that it's all going to turn out fine. So she's fully connected to spirit, her higher power, everything. And this is where, this is you. It's just that you have to get out of this worry and 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 all of that and then the last one so it's interesting because you have these two things you've got you're the queen and you've got the magic but you also put yourself in a humanly position of worry and second guessing okay not trusting so i would say that they want you to know to trust your higher power trust the universe trust that you're gonna be fine and that you always pull it off. Every time you pull it off, every single time. You know, and that should show you that you really have nothing to worry about. And so once you get into that place of complete gratitude and abundance, you, you manifest literally in seconds. Because that's the other thing, as we're coming into this 5D light, manifesting is going to become much quicker and much easier, which means that it's much more important to maintain your positive and high vibration and joy and gratitude and all of that positive stuff, bliss, so that you can bring more of that into your life, literally instantaneously, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna have to do one more throw and see if they wanna say anything else in closing here. Um, you have a lot of gratitude. You do. Um, it's just that you, like I said, you sometimes second guess yourself and you deserve to have everything positive in the world, in your life. True love is coming to you and abundance, a lot of golden abundance. Okay. What does she need to hear in closing so she can take with her? forward uh, okay so this is the last thing too because what I've been telling a lot of my clients too is we come into this fifth dimensional energy we have to be in a high vibrational space otherwise we can't integrate it we can't integrate right so being positive being uplifted and all that stuff is where we have to be however if we have um, heartaches and disappointments and sadnesses and you know, things that we've held on to in our heart primarily or in our energetic field somewhere, those things drag us down and hold us down. So now is a time where we're on quarantine to really take a few minutes every day or as much time as you feel is warranted and go in deep and heal these hurts and these betrayals and these heartbreaks and all these things, these disappointments, and let them go. Heal them, 
forgive yourself, forgive the other person or whatever the situation is and then let them go. They're no longer relevant in this time period. They're no longer valid or relevant in your life. You've learned the lessons and now it's time to let them go, okay? So here you are again. This is you having gone through all the nightmare, still standing strong. And this is moving into this next phase with direct precision and fast. And um, this is you taking care of yourself. And by taking your care of yourself, I mean letting go of these heartbreaks and heartaches and these things that are past, okay? Heal from that, right? And then the final card is one of my favorite cards. This woman has so much abundance that she's able to give it back. She's able to give it away. So this is a card of like unconditional giving, the benefactor, you have all your needs met, you have all the love and joy and abundance and beautiful amazingness in your life that you could ever imagine. So much so that you just bestow it on everybody that you come in contact with. Everybody would love to have this in their life, everybody. And so that's the final card. If you can see, she has, she's dancing and she's happy, okay? So I hope, I hope that gave you some clarity. Um, and so wherever you are, be safe. This too shall pass. Keep working on expanding your consciousness and connecting with your guides and angels and asking spirit what you can do right now to help humanity rise up. And all right, so please take care of yourself. Be safe and very, very many blessings to you.